so yeah, should be back now, hopefully. So yeah, I'm um, gonna be doing a bit more Minecraft. Um, probably gonna be another stream after this one as well, and that will hopefully be the one where I get netherite. But yeah, um, gonna be mining the stream for probably about 30 minutes or so. I think that'll be a good enough time. So yeah, the main thing that we need here is obviously diamonds, but um, lapis and redstone are definitely things that are pretty useful as well. I didn't actually bring my iron pickaxe with me, did I? Well, time to go fix that. I considered doing a bit of a grinding session while I was gone, and just like um, getting some cobblestone in the chest, but I'm still not too confident if people want me to do grinding sessions and stuff off stream this game because, yeah, it could be suspicious because there is creative mode um, and stuff in this game that you can just swap it to. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, the only reason that I usually play in creative mode is for, like, note blocker or redstone stuff. I don't usually play creative mode to cheat or anything just because the game's pretty easy, as is. Yeah, I have this one still on me, and it can be put into the chest. So yeah, we got iron pickaxe, we got a stone pickaxe, got 24 spruce wood planks. Um, and then there's a furnace and crafting table set up down there in the mine. But, I mean, even that's not too useful because it's not like... Um, I can't just like run back to the surface or anything, I've got enough inventory slots right now to carry a few things, so, yep, just gonna jump on down. Um, I could put water there, and that would be, like, a faster way to get in, because there's a staircase, like, right there. Um, I just jump down, because it's faster. Okay, so that's left side torch, but I mean, obviously tell that there's still stuff down here that I haven't explored, because I usually place torch on the right side, is how I navigate caves. Let's see, there's iron there, and then iron there, and then underneath my feet there's some iron as well. I'm gonna put a torch there, um, in the center of that big room, because you can't really place torches on the side of it, and expect it to be fully lit up. Okay, so, and then I'll place a torch there. Um, and then I think I'll place one there and there, just to get some more lighting. So yeah, I need a bit of coal, although not too much, because I have a few deposits of coal, like, scattered around. So that's eight more gold. some piglin bartering or something. Um, I'm still wearing the golden helmet that I got from that one piglin. Oh, it looks like I got shot at here. Probably pretty recently as I just started exploring this place. Or this part of the cave, so... I haven't really run into too many mobs, though. So. Except in the nether, but in the overworld at least, in, in caves and stuff, I haven't run into too many. But yeah, it's better to grab iron now than to start grabbing iron whenever you have to make a beacon base or whatever. And plus I can use the iron for XP by smelting it and hoppers and stuff, so it's still got uses. Even if I've already made a full suit of armor and stuff, I can make an extra iron pickaxe or something. This is a pretty deep hole. I don't really like standing where I'm standing currently in front of it, but... 
Oh, that's a survivable fall. Unless you get, like, shot into it. playing Breath of the Wild there. Um, I thought about trying to play Breath of the Wild again um, recently just because I was watching RT Games uh, hard mode, or expert mode um, permadeath run. And maybe like trying something like that myself. I think I could probably do like an expert mode run. I don't know about permadeath just because there's a lot of enemies that just have like one weapon that does like 15 hearts worth of damage like straight out of the gate so then you're just dead instantly and then there's like full damage and stuff to consider as well but yeah i know that there's still more stuff down the torch trails because i didn't really go all the way down them so that's why i'm trying to go down some of them yeah i don't like this room I'll just place that there, and then I'll go back and get some resources um, once I have a pretty good area lit up. Okay. Oh, there's a witch behind it. make it try to approach me, rather than approaching it. Got it. Okay, so the witch is going to be a bit of an issue, because I can't just block a bottle from the witch. Or did it despawn? No, it didn't despawn. If I hit it fast enough, it, I can take it out before it has a chance to heal and throw a potion, so... That's basically everything I really have. Like, I have 30 pieces of coal. Um, the main reason that I'm mining coal is just torches, really. Um, I usually use wood for furnace fuel, so... Save a bit of time. Getting attacked by a spider, but it's not gonna kill me. Just kinda damaged my armor a bit, I guess. I definitely wanna plug this hole. I'll just use this gold ore, because it's the only block that I have in my hotbar. Okay, so I think if I stand here, place a torch, hmm. I'm going to do this a bit. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to make sure I had a block underneath me. Okay, just in case the floor fell out, because you don't want to have the floor fall out as well, as all of the uh, stuff around you falling. Yeah, definitely a lot of gravel in this game. I'm going up, and I don't like that, because I'd rather get rare resources. Like redstone. Redstone's kind of like the main thing that I'm looking for. Um, 
like, just to get a bunch of, because I know that I can do some stuff with it. Whereas with diamonds, like, I kind of try to save them. Redstone's a lot less valuable, I guess. I wouldn't mind getting a bucket of lava. Obviously I have that big thing of lava like right outside my house, but... Getting it down here is pretty good, just because I can smelt some things down here if I make a furnace. Then again, I have to make sure I have enough wood for that, so... And currently... I actually don't. I didn't really think about that whenever I was turning everything into sticks. This cave would make a pretty nice base. Do like an Ito style man cave or something. That's why I'm not too good at building exteriors, because I mostly just dig into the slides of caves or something and kind of make a man cave. Why didn't I just let it blow up? Mistakes were made. Okay, so we're gonna retreat back a bit. Heal up. Okay. Never mind. If it throws a potion of harming, I'm dead. So had to be super careful. I'm gonna put a torch down there just to stay safe. Okay, we're good. Having to block myself with like iron ore and stuff because I don't have any. Building blocks. Got some glowstone. Got a potion of healing. And some health. Two hearts. Glad that all the visual glitches I was getting in the first stream have kind of gone away. Now that the world's loaded in, I guess. I thought it was cobblestone when I found a monster spawner. Would have been really nice. at this level. Oh, I thought I placed it in a bad spot. Okay, so there's not really a good spot for this. Um, yeah, I think everything's next to gravel. block gets updated, then it's kinda game over, so... Due to where it was standing. Okay, so yeah, that path does not seem fun. There's just gravel everywhere. Hello, skeleton. Thank you for allowing me to get time to get my sword out. Glad it was there and not, like, where that waterfall is. The source block for it. Okay, so I don't really want to place torches there, just because of that block. Or that torch there. 
Um, because that can cause issues with torches on the right side. saying that this cave wasn't that big. Well, I mean, you didn't really hear it because my mic was muted at the time. Um, but yeah, I had said, like, I thought this cave was going to be really small. And hold on, let me check on something. I should have done this in the beginning of the stream. Okay, so yeah, we're good. I wanted to make sure that the capture, or the, yeah, capture card wasn't, uh, picking up my audio. Um, and it was just my mic picking up audio because I've had that happen a lot. Risky, okay. It was worth it, I guess. Two iron wasn't really that worth it. I would have lost like almost two stacks. Or I say almost two stacks, like almost one and a half stacks. Thought I heard a slime. Run into magma slimes, but that's been it as far as slimes go. Um, there is a bunch of swamps nearby, so I could go there if I want slime. Okay, so those count as source blocks, so that's what was causing all this water up here. I do see that creeper in case you're wondering. I've seen it since before it was spawned in the game. Where's the source block? It's right there. Yep, that's where it was. Okay. I don't really want to be dealing with source blocks while I'm finding a creeper. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Ready for a jump scare. Oh boy, this is getting out of hand. Did it get trapped in the gravel? I think it did. I was hoping that it would. It looked like it exploded. Alright, that might have been the other creeper. Oh, skeleton fight. Who's gonna win? I'm hoping this one right in front of me wins. Here, I'm gonna do another fight. Or, I mean, it's kinda obvious who's gonna win. The one that wasn't in the last fight. Supercharged creeper or something. <laughs> so there is some exposed lava, so do we need to watch out for that? Yeah, this is all source blocks here, so it's kind of annoying. I heard a skeleton. I don't see the skeleton though. I don't 
see it, it doesn't exist, right? No need to be afraid of something that doesn't exist. diamond level currently. We found some diamonds over here earlier. Although you couldn't really hear me talk about it. Adultress the tree. Okay, so I got some redstone out of this cave so far, but yeah, I'm still continuing on. So 27 iron ore turns into 31. And that seemed to go a lot faster than normal whenever I swam up it. Swam, swam, whatever. I know that I missed some iron there. Thank you, game. Thought they removed this this patch. Oh frick, I did not even see it. They hit me with instant damage. Oh no, 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 this is bad. Okay, cover yourself, okay. The instant damage was really bad because it was taking down my health a lot faster. Um, just due to the fact I didn't have that much health. How long does this poison last? You can't really see if it's version of the game, but. I think we're good. How much durability is the shield plus, so. It loses his durability pretty quickly. Um, I mentioned this in the stream that you couldn't hear me, but I don't usually use shields that often. And I'm not too familiar with them. Can't get me in here. Completely safe from everything. No mob in the game can kill me except for the Ender Dragon and Wither, and those don't exist yet. Can't really do much in here. I think I can do. Okay. I think I'm safe to get out now. Oh, there was another witch around the corner. I would be dead. trying to save a bit of durability on my stone pick by not mining every piece of iron ore, but so much. And some lapis. Mining lapis with like a fortune pickaxe is really fun, because you just get like an entire seven blocks of lapis or something just from one piece. Or seven blocks of lapis for itself lapis. Okay, 
so there's some gold there. I will go back and get that. Since it is pretty valuable now. So yeah, that's the end. There. I think that's the entire cave. I mean, there are a few spots, but I mean, like, that's the entire main branch. It went by a lot faster than I thought it would. It's only been like 30 minutes and I've already gotten this much stuff. Or it's been 25 minutes, it hasn't even been 30. I still do want to try to find some more redstone though. Oh, there's a lot more over here, okay. Um, I didn't realize it was this much over here. I thought it was just like one of these branching paths. Not a branch of branching paths. There's a slime. Though he can't really hurt us, so I'll leave him alone for now. Hmm. Do I have a lead on me? I do not. Just stick to this main path here. Following? Okay, good. Hmm. Gotta watch out for the slob, though. Then again, don't really want to update it or anything. Got two more cooked cod, and that's like the last of my food, so. I felt like he was gonna fall into the lava there, so I just. I had to go ahead and make sure that he wouldn't do that. Yeah, there's nothing there. You know, running would help conserve food. Oh, I have a lot of food left. We're good. Any diamonds? Nope. Okay, so there must be a slime chunk nearby, because I hear another slime. I wish you could see chunks in this game. Like this version. I mean, the idea for the house that I have um, fits within one trunk. Because it's 10 by 10, basically. 10 by 10 circle. Broken there. Boy, I sure do, or I sure do love it whenever I'm mining for precious materials, and then all of a sudden I hear something that sounds like an explosion from behind me whenever I'm wearing full iron armor, which is able to be one shot by a creeper. been cool to start in a desert on this playthrough. Uh, I've done, on the PC version, I've done a buffet world of just the desert so there were no trees or anything and tried to survive and made it pretty far. Uh, I didn't finish the game just because I got a bit bored with the world. But it was interesting. Like, I had trees and stuff because um, I was able to um, find a village. I think it had a tree in it. Or something like that. Somehow I was able to get... Before then I had to use, um, pieces of the village. Okay, so this is gonna require a bit of cobble. Not necessarily gold. As I will not be picking up that cobble again. Anything that I'm gonna fill in gold with, I wanna be able to pick it back up. There's some gold there. Make sure that there's 
there's nothing nearby. So yeah, we're still at Y21, so we're not at diamond level. Or isn't diamond level like Y13 or something? I know that you can find diamonds at Y13 at least, but I'm not too familiar with what diamond level is. I don't think 20's um, diamond level, so... I think it's Y13. I don't know, it might be Y15 or lower. It's diamond. Like, 15 to 3 or something. A bit confused on where to go. I think I've found where. Yeah, with these big open caves, it's a bit harder. Um, because you can put torches on both sides. I should have eaten a piece of fish and then drop so that way I can fill up saturation by a bit. But yeah, I've already been down there. Okay, so. Where to go? I will probably head out. Okay, that's not the direction of out. That is also not the direction of out, which means the direction of out is this way. Okay, that's the right side torch. The left side torch is the one that I need to be looking for to get out. Where are these hats flying so low? Oh, they don't drop XP, I didn't know that. Or I probably didn't, just forgot. They need to drop some sort of item eventually. Well, I mean, not everything does, because it wouldn't be cool if dogs did, because then you have to kill dogs. And hello there. I mean, depending on what they dropped, obviously, you would have to. Or you have to, it's a bit of... Misleading. A bit of misleading, a bit misleading. Okay, so we were able to grab the chest, but yeah, this is really nice. Um, definitely taking a picture of these coordinates so that way I can head back here eventually um, and set up a farm. Yeah, I don't think it's actually that far from. Let's see, it's not that far from home. It's at like 286. So let's see, 263.40 versus 199. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's a decent walk, but it's not too bad. Also, I really like this screen compared to the other one, which was purely white and would blind you if you had your brightness turned up, like, one bar or something. But yeah, it's a skeleton spawner as well, and those are extremely useful because they can drop bows, armor, and bones, and arrows as well. That's all the drops they can drop. Um, okay, make my own path. This actually leads back to the surface, so I will use it to head out and back to home. Home was 199.64. Oh, it's just over there. So yeah, see, it's not too far of a walk. I mean, that's actually, like, straight out of that dip as well, so I could probably make, like, a elevator or something. We need... Or no, I don't need sticky pistons for an elevator. I just need a pretty good amount of redstone. And I have, like, 23 pieces, maybe. Oh yeah, that's not for this. I grabbed those chests so I could do this. But yeah, we didn't find any diamonds, but we did find music disc. Which, I mean, there's not that much reward or anything, but better than nothing. Also found a golden apple, see that? And then iron horse armor is pretty good as well, actually. So... I guess we go back don't really know what else to do right now. I actually do need more coal too, so... Yeah, I think going back is supply to get some more coal. But yeah, if you're wondering where the hole is, it's just like right over here. It takes you straight back into Skeleton Farm, but I saw this coal here, so that's why I came back here. I got some cobblestone out of it. Okay, and then 
here. Hmm. Some things have changed since I left. Looks like. Maybe. Anyway, if you don't mind giving me your leads, that would be pretty good. There we go, so I got the leads, right? Yep. Two leads. I'm definitely gonna have to do some winding up around some of the caves and stuff, but I think... Actually, you know what? Setting up the skeleton farm right now sounds pretty good. Something to do. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I probably want to make another stone pickaxe once I leave this place. Um, and then I can kind of set it up. Yeah, I have a picture of the coordinate, so it's nearby. Yeah, it's right there. Got some mossy cobble and stuff. So yeah, I've got two torches on it, so it shouldn't spawn anything. Um, and I actually know how to build these from memory, so I won't have to look up a video or anything. Because um, I built like 15 of them. Things that I'll need. I'll need pickaxe, or probably two. Um, some torches, infinite water, and then hopper. I could either do a one hopper thing or I could do multiple hoppers. Um, I could even do a fall damage setup actually. Um, which, the last time I made one of these, I wasn't able to because it was at like bedrock. So. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, do I have another pickaxe in here? I don't. Mm -hmm. So how much cobblestone do I have? Oh, nine. Could have been a pun in German, but... Yeah, it's breaking because it's lagging. There we go. So yeah, the lag just causes the block to not spawn. It's, I guess it's not really an issue with the clock, it's more of the block not spawning. Because it, like, freezes a random tick on the thing. Um, I guess because the piston head gets in the way. So yeah, it's kind of an issue with both blocks, I guess, really. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get probably, like, a stack of cobblestone, and I think that should be good enough. Um, It'd be kind of cool to have like a glass outside for the skeleton spawner, but I think that um, it's not really necessary. I could make an auto sorter on it as well. Uh, I actually don't have the materials for that. Cause I'd have to make stone. So yeah, that's a stack. No, it's just one short. I cannot count. Yeah, it looks like this ran out of fuel. Oh, no, it didn't. It ran out of stuff to burn. So, yeah, I think I'll use this as, like, my valuable stress or something. 
Oh, I have 21 redstone. I think I could pull it off. Let's see, I need a dropper. And then... Probably... What do I want to keep? I want to keep arrows and bones. So let's... Hmm. I'll have to build it out, maybe. And see if I can do anything from there. Um, oh yeah, I don't have any stone at all. So yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I want to put all my blankets up here, I think. I'll probably convert them to blocks eventually as well. Um, I've got the materials to make an elevator, don't I? Well, I mean, I just need salt sand. Um, so that's something I could do as well. You know what, I will do that. So all I need... I don't need any armor or anything, I just need to use my hand to mine salt sand, so... So, yeah, basically, all that I do is I go here, and then we look for some sand. I'm pretty sure I know where some is, but it's gonna be a bit risky to grab. If there's a piglin outside the portal, then I'm just gonna... Which, I mean, I'm not doing permadeath or anything, I would've already lost that. That makes me sound like I'm bad at Minecraft, but I'm really not that bad. I don't think I am, at least. Okay, so there is no, um, oh, those are piglins. So, uh, these ones, these are safe. If they have two ears, then you have to watch out, basically. Um, oh boy, this is gonna be very risky. Uh, this isn't so sand, it's so soil. I don't know if this will work. We're also getting shot at by that skeleton right there. Oh, there, back of the cube. Okay. Four. Okay, we're not an angle, and you should be fine. Because it's shooting directly at you. Okay, so next thing to worry about is the piglins. Okay, and it looks like I made it. So I don't know if soul soil causes bubbles. It might only be soul sand. That's a creeper right out my bed. That would have been a fun thing to wake up to, though. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and lead them, like, this way, maybe. Them, because there's two. There's three. You know, I, I wouldn't mind blowing up, but I'm not going to. Bloop. And in. I don't have a wall. Because I don't have any cobblestone. I don't know why. Like, cobblestone's not super valuable or anything. I just don't have any of it. Let's go ahead and eat. I prefer not to die due to the amount of bubbles that I have, but I can die like that. Not too concerned about it. If you hold this. So if you hold this, does it block? That's all I wanted to know. Oh, it blew up my armor stand. I didn't blow up my chest, though. Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, that's good. Oh, but my armor stand is gone. And two pieces of cobblestone that were right there are gone, too. Which is a bit more annoying than anything there. And now it's raining. But yeah, that helmet's look gone. So I'll have to repair it or something. Cause I mean, it's not a bad helmet. It's got a breaking too. If I have, or you have to wear gold armor, kind of in the Nether. So I'd definitely be getting um, also the dog got injured. So yeah, that should heal it. Um, I heard it get injured whenever the creeper exploded. But yeah, um, if you have to wear gold armor, then I definitely want a breaking. Um, it 
just so that way, you know, I actually can use it for an extended period of time. Like unbreaking protection. That'll probably just be all that I would put on it as unbreaking and protection. Probably even blast protection as well, because the only thing you really have to worry about is gassed. I'll probably make like nether armor, I think, maybe. Not nether right, but like armor specifically designed for the nether, which would be like gold helmet with blast protection or regular protection and then iron armor with a mix of blast protection and regular protection. Or maybe even diamond armor or something. Another right armor. Just for exploring the nether. I'll probably have fire resist on one of the pieces as well. Um, because that would just allow you to, you know, be able to not have to worry too much about the different types of things that can injure you there. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in here. And yeah, um, I was grabbing wood. Okay, I got some wood. And with this, that should be good there. So now I just need cobble, which I have cobble on me. I don't know why I keep jumping whenever I do something. Okay, so next thing is the two buckets. I'm gonna put some lava back into the lake. It's kind of empty. Um, and then I wanted to test if soul sand caught bubbles. Can't really do it here. Or can I? Please tell me it does. Okay, so let's see. It doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, there was no soul sand nearby. Okay, so that means the elevator's up. What was this dirt? What else was there? I guess nothing. I wonder why that fell. Or whatever. Um, got some wheat grown. Pumpkins are still growing. They take a bit of time, but they're not really too useful for um, food or anything, as they're a bit expensive to make into food. By a bit expensive, I mean I just require an egg. So it looks like we'll have to staircase the uh, way down. Which is fine, but... Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, so the actual, like, spawner, isn't it down this cave? Yeah, it is. Okay, so, um, here's what I'm thinking. We make a three-wide staircase directly down to the bottom level. Where it is. Okay. So, just to make it a bit easier to get down to it. I do need some torches, and I don't actually have any on me. I also need some food, but it's raining so I can't do the fire strat. Have to do it the old fashioned way, I guess. No. That's a horse, not a cow. That's a cow, though. Two cows. Three. And whoop, three. Okay, so how much steak is that? Nine. That should be good. I thought those were bees. I was gonna say, wait, has there been bees here this entire time? Would have gone back to the nether for nether port so that way I can make like a one of the things, so... Uh, hold on a second. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think I've actually got the resources a bit ready now. Um, yeah, let's see. So let's go ahead and cook this. Eat these. That's the last of my food. Another piece of wheat. Yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid making things out of um, rectangles. Just I don't like rectangles or squares, just try to avoid 90 degree angles or whatever. Um, doing this. I think that'll be a fun challenge. I thought that soul story I had like special text. Hello pig. Goodbye pig. Don't really want to attract anything over here, so. Go ahead and eat that, get that out, and yeah, that one pork chop's not enough for me to want to swap it out or anything. Oh yeah, I've completely forgotten that I need a lot of leather for the enchantment table. So yeah, um, I think this is probably like a pretty good point to like end this stream, and then I'm going to take like another break probably like once an hour, so I think it's been 52 minutes or so right now, so yeah, um, let me save an exit and stuff, and then in the next stream, we'll get the skeleton spawner um, farm built, and then I can build the enchantment table, and then I'll have like infinite XP and stuff, so then I can just grind out some good armor, and then once I have decent enough armor, I can actually start mining in the nether. Um, I honestly could start mining in the nether right now, but I'm just trying to be safe about it. So, yeah, um, for now I will be ending the stream here. I guess I'll see everyone.